Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot, and welcome to the fourth and final wing of the Blackrock Foundry on LFR difficulty, Blackhand's Crucible. So, we're gonna get started here, we're gonna jump right into things, and I will tell you, as is the case with every other video that I do, I'm going to uh, be telling you guys the proper way of doing things Well, I either do it that way or not. So we are going to see exactly what happens here with this particular attempt. I do have some stacks of determination. I chose to pick this particular attempt because, like all the others, this is my literal first attempt. It's a bit of a mess, but I think we get him down. I've had many, many, many problems with Blackhand, tanking Blackhand uh, successfully because I didn't uh, really do my research. So for this particular fight, for th Phase 3, for the love of God, do your research on it, or at least know what you're supposed to do in Phase 3, because that's where things really go to hell in a big, big hurry. And that goes for everybody, DPS and healers as well. So I'm going to go over what people need to worry about in the current phase, phase one, so uh, specifically what tanks need to worry about. So throughout this fight, face them away from the raid. Uh, I would recommend, as always, have your off, uh, have your other tank on focus. Avoid the demolition zones that are right here, that are dropping right uh, down. You should try to tank him next to uh, the lava, next to the heated slag. I found in LFR, at least, if you tank him close to it, but if you tank him facing away from it, you can actually avoid the stacking fire dot, which is pretty good. And uh, we've got determination on here, so at this phase, he goes right into, or in this particular run through, he goes right into phase two, because we're just DPSing the living crap out of him. But yeah, basically during phase one, tank him close to the molten slag, I've discovered that if you tank him facing away from the Molten Slag, but right next to it, you can actually have him bat you across the room and you don't land in it, which is nice. But you definitely want to perform a tank switch at this point when he does the Shattering Smash that knocks you halfway across the room. Same thing goes for the current phase, phase two. You want to make sure that you do a tank switch as soon as the uh, other tank gets knocked up into the ledge. And when you see that red circle on the floor, you should try to pick an area where there are iron soldiers that are shooting at you. In this particular attempt, you will see that I didn't know what the hell was going on. So I was just like, oh, okay, I got thrown onto a ledge. Uh, am I supposed to do anything? No? Okay, I'll just hop back down. As for that siege maker there, it fixates on one particular person and it's untankable. So as the tank, you don't have to worry about that. And there's a shattering smash. As I told you, I was just like, well, what's the point of this? The point of that is to go and uh, kill the Iron Soldiers and try to help a little bit with the DPS. And right there, I am trying to tank the Siege Maker. Um, actually, I think I'm just trying to DPS it. Oh, also, avoid the Slag Mines, like I'm not doing right there. And also, stay away from the uh, fire that's coming out of the wheels of uh, the Siege Maker. And, uh, yeah, let's see here. In phase two, knock, when you get knocked up, deal with the Iron Soldiers. Uh, I'm going to skip down here to everyone. And, okay, once again, this time I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but there's actually no soldiers on this particular uh, wing here. They're all dead, including one guy who's dead there, just in the rafters. And we're getting closer to phase three, which is when things really, really go to hell. In fact, I've got some uh, footage of a phase three wipe here later on uh, that I will be showing you guys after this, if you are at all interested. Oh, I should mention here, those slag bombs that are going on the floor, in phase three they get attached to you and they leave fiery holes in the ground when they explode. So... Here we go, we're getting started on phase three, and uh, this is the big one here. This is where things all go to hell. According to Icy Veins on normal mode and above, you take uh, increase, you take 50% falling damage. In LFR, you don't take any of that. Uh, as you saw there, you definitely want to make sure that you uh, pop your Heroism, Bloodlust, uh, Time Warp as what we have here. And you want to be tanking him at the edge of the platform, which is what I am not doing here. When anybody has a slag bomb attached to them, this in 
affects the tanks as well, you want to make sure that you move away from the group and you put the slag, uh, and you detonate the slag bomb somewhere where it's uh, away from the raid and not going to cause too much trouble. Now, his massive attering smash, which he does in this particular phase, which we're starting to figure out, you need to kite him away from the crater that he creates, because that crater shoots fire, and it shoots fire in a big area. So that's going to cause a lot of pain to you guys. And now, we've got him on determination stacks 2, I believe, so... We were able to kind of beat him into the ground, even though we lost some people in the process, and we're not doing it right at all. I mean, we're running through the fire willy-nilly. We're being kind of crazy. In fact, I think we lost uh, the other tank there, and that's probably why it is. And I'm tanking him right next to the fire crater. Why? Uh, why is because it's my first attempt here, so... Yeah, anyway, that is a successful attempt with a couple of stacks of determination, which uh, this was my very first playthrough here. And uh, in honor of all of the uh, many, many fail attempts that I've had, DPS, the healers, and especially the tanks have had to deal with, I'm going to show you something that didn't work out quite as well. In just a sec here, we're going to skip over to that, and I will uh, just highlight some of the things you need to worry about. Alright, so this is a fresh attempt, no stacks of determination this time, and somebody popped Time Warp too early, they popped it in Phase 1 or 3, uh, but that's not a huge impact here. What is a huge impact is my lack of movement. I did move towards the edge with the Slag Bomb, I did try to move away from it. Uh, however, let's, uh, let's observe what happens here, let's uh, observe how we deal with the mechanics. Uh, trying-ish to get him away, but, uh... Okay, so the other tank has aggro of him at the moment. The other tank is trying by the looks of it. Trying to get him to the uh, edge of the platform. However, bombs throwing me into the fire, and that's going to cause a lot of fire damage. One of the tanks is down. I... Yeah, I get smacked. I tank him right next to the fire crater, and that insta-kills me. And one of the players is yelling at me to move away from the edge of the move to the edge of the platform and kite him there, which absolutely that's what you're supposed to do. And I do not blame anybody for bad mouthing me in this particular fight. It was a fail attempt, and as you can see right there, big huge fail. So I'm sorry if that wasn't impressive enough for you guys, but uh, yeah, that's the fail attempt. We did not recover from me running off the edge like an idiot because I was panicking. So, not an easy fight, at least wasn't an easy fight. Um, yeah. But if you follow what uh, I was telling you guys to do, which I don't believe I was following in either of these attempts, then uh, you should be okay. You do need your healers to uh, be on their A game. You need your DPS to also be on their A game. Everybody needs to focus on this fight. Because he is the breaker of raids in this particular fight. So, anyway guys, uh, this is not that exciting here. Uh, just the rest of the raid wipes out here. Because they don't have any tanks left and they wasted a battle res on the moronic tank who decided to jump off a cliff. Because he was panicking. So anyway guys, if you want to see more videos like this... Um... You can follow me on uh, my channel on YouTube there, uh, or you could subscribe and maybe follow me on Twitter instead. Uh, so subscribe to my channel if you like. It is Ybot Powered. A uh, subscription is definitely appreciated. If you like this video, thumbs it up. And um, also you can follow me on Twitter, as I mentioned, at Ybot Powered if you want to know when my videos are coming up there. I'll uh, post when I've uh, got a video ready or when it's close to being ready. And in the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've got some Hellfire Citadel stuff recorded that'll be going up shortly as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.